Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about Lesson 3.1, Day 1, Algebraic Expressions. Um, today in your notes you're going to be looking for seven things. About half of those things are going to be vocabulary terms, so get ready to write a few vocabulary definitions and examples. And then the remaining questions, I think questions 5, 6, and 7, you're actually applying those um, vocabulary terms. So let's go ahead and get started to see what we're looking at for today. The first two things we're going to write in our notes um, are the definitions of term and coefficient. So terms are quantities that you can add to form an algebraic expression. Um, so that would just, for this example, for number one, the terms are negative 5x, y, and 2. So they're always going to be separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. Okay, So those would be the terms. A coefficient is the number factor in the term. So when you, like this example right here is showing you, the coefficient is negative 5 because negative 5 is with x. Same thing with y. Even though y is written by itself, it automatically has a 1 in front of it. It's kind of like when you write a decimal and it's 5 is equal to 5.0. 1 will always be a coefficient if a variable is by itself. So just make sure that you understand the coefficient is the number within that term. Um, so 5 and 1 would be your coefficients. Go ahead and take time now to just pause the video real quick and write these two things down. Once you're done, click play because we're moving on in 3, 2, 1. Number 3 is called a constant, and that's a number by itself with no variable. So for example, maybe if I had 5x plus 2y minus 17, the constant is going to be negative 17. And the reason why it's negative 17 is because there's a minus sign in front of it. Okay, So numbers that are by itself. A variable is the letter in an expression, and sometimes it's going to represent a number. It doesn't always have to represent a number, but sometimes it will. So for example, in this, one, in this same expression that I used in question number 3, 5x plus 2y minus 17, we have two variables. The variables here are going to be x and y because they're, they're the letters. So variables are essentially looking for the letters, and they can sometimes represent a number. Go ahead and if you haven't done so already, take the time now to pause the video because we'll be moving on in 3, 2, 1. Like terms and terms, this, these are the next two vocabulary terms that we're going to be seeing here. Um, like terms, they have the same variables and the same exponents. So for instance, like 3x and negative 9x or 2x to the fifth and 17x to the fifth, or 2ab and 3ab. Okay, all those are like terms. Oops, here they are in their um, group together. Notice how they have the same variable, and then the, this one in the middle, like the 2x to the fifth, has the same exponents x to the fifth, x to the fifth. Okay, so you're basically looking for this same exact variable and the same exact exponent. Terms, that's just another number of variable, and I think you actually already wrote that down in number one. Hang tight. Yep, you already did. So you don't actually have to write down number one. That is my bad. Um, but a term, again, is just that a single number or a variable, and um, they're either adding or subtracting, so you're being separated by those signs. So 3x minus minus 9y plus 17 plus a. 3x is a term, negative 9y is a term, 17 is a term, and a is a term. Okay, go ahead and take time now to pause the video, write what you see on the screen, minus number 6, because you probably already wrote that, because uh, we're going to move on in 3, 2, 1. All right, so here's some of the examples that you're going to see on your homework. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this example, and then you're going to try the next few on your own. This first one says count the number of terms. So counting the number of terms would be one, two, three, four. So there are four terms, and if you wanted to list them, there are 9x is a term, negative 2 is a term, 7 is a term, and negative x is a term. Okay. 
I'm going to just go down here, list the variables. The variable, we only have one variable, and that's x. If you wanted to, you can write x and then another x because there are two. Remember, variables are letters. The coefficients. Coefficients, that means the numbers with the letters. We have a 9 and we also have a 1. The reason why we have a 1 because we have that x by itself. Remember, there's automatically a 1 in front of there if there's no number listed. And that actually should be a negative 1 because there's a minus sign in front of it. The constants, those are the numbers by themselves with no letter. So we have negative 2 as a constant and positive 7. They don't have a letter with them, so they're a constant. They're going to stay the same. doesn't matter what, what's going to happen with them. The like terms, we have 9x and negative 1x. And then we also have negative 2 and 7. Remember, like terms have the same exact exponent raised to the same exact power. So 9x and negative 1x have both x's raised to the first power. Negative 2 and positive 7 don't have any numbers. They are constants. So constants are always going to be like terms. The next slide you're going to be trying by yourself. So you're going to go ahead and pause the video real quick. Try the question. And then once you're done, click play to check your work. So let's go ahead and check our work for this one. The first one says count the number of terms. We have one, two, three, four terms. And if you wanted to write those down, z squared, 5z, negative 3z squared, and z. Okay. The variables, we have just all z's. If you wanted to write z, 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 that is fine. If you just want to write a z, that would be fine as well. Coefficients, we have 1 for the z squared. We have a 5 for 5z. We've got a negative 3 for negative 3z squared. And then we also have another 1 for just z. There are no constants in this one, so you would just write none. Or you could write N-A because there's no letter or no number by itself. And then the like terms, Z squared and negative 3Z squared are like terms. And then 5Z and Z are like terms. Okay, so just those have to be grouped separately because Z squareds have the second power where the Zs do not have any power. Okay, so they have to match the letter and the exponent. How did you do? So that's going to conclude our video. If you need to go back and rewatch how I just did that last one, feel free to. But go ahead and check to see what we're going to be doing next. Have a great day.